Hey there, this is Clayton with Everything Ponds, and the purpose of this video is just to do a quick overview on our pond kits. So a lot of times people can get confused trying to pick all the equipment for their pond. So what we've done to try to make it a little easier is created a bunch of kits that match most of the situations we see on a day-to-day -day basis. We've designed these kits to be customizable as well. It's not a locked-in thing. You can add the kit to your cart, and then each product will be listed out in there. You can add products, you can remove products. Um, it really is meant to be customizable. We have three different types of pond kits to describe most pond situations. So the first is an ecosystem pond kit, and this is your standard garden pond style kit. You have a pump, skimmer, filter, generally you have a waterfall. Most people like to make it look natural with plants and rock, and you can have fish or no fish, including koi, in the ecosystem pond. The second is a formal pond, and that is generally more formal lines, rectangular in shape, and the waterfall is generally coming out of a wall or something that just looks a little more formal in appearance. The third type of pond kit that we have is a bottom drain koi pond, and these are more advanced ponds meant for koi enthusiasts that are spending generally hundreds or thousands of dollars on their koi. If you're the type of person that's spending $50 or less on a koi, generally speaking, an ecosystem pond is probably the way for you to go. All right, so let's size your pond. Let's figure out a kit that matches the pond you want to build. Uh, you can use our calculators, first of all, to figure out how many gallons of water are in your pond. So let's say you type in your length, width, and depth, and you figure out you have 2,000 gallons of water. Most people will try to pump their entire pond every hour. So 2,000 gallons, 2,000 gallons per hour. It's really quite simple. So then you take that flow rate, which is 2,000 gallons per hour, and then you choose our kit that best matches that. So you can get a kit that does 2,000 gallons per hour. For most ponds, you're usually trying to aim for pumping the pond once per hour, um, especially if you have fish. So I would recommend if you have koi or goldfish to definitely try to meet that metric. If you don't have fish, sometimes people, they're, trying to, they're on a budget, they're trying to save a little bit of money. You can back off that amount, maybe pump once every two hours. Or, let's say you have a larger pond, uh, even with fish, uh, because larger bodies of water are generally more stable, people will also back off that number a little bit, maybe pump once every two hours. All that being said, we usually recommend pumping once per hour. So if you have a 3,000 gallon pond, try to pump 3,000 gallons per hour. Once you know the flow rate for your pond, you're just going to want to choose a submersible or external pump kit. If you don't really know the difference between those two things, just go for the submersible pump. It's easier to install and in most cases it's, it's a nice easy solution. Um, when you get into higher flow rates or more complicated ponds, uh, external pumps are nice because they generally use less power and so you'll have electricity savings, especially on larger flow rates. We don't include liners on any of our kits and the reason why we do that is because every pond seems to be a different shape and every pond will need a slightly different liner. And since we don't like to put a huge liner in and have a whole bunch of waste, we just choose to add the liner separately. So once you know the size of your pond, you know how many gallons are in there, you can work out the size of liner needed, go to our liners page and add a liner on. Once you've chosen a kit, you can add it to your cart, you can add a liner, and then you'll see all the products in your cart. You can add items or you can remove items. Let's say you want to add some more lights, anything like that, you can add to the kit. Of course, if you have any questions about any of this, you can give us a call or you can email us. You can visit our website, everything-ponds.com. I hope this video has clarified the process for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy building your pond. Have a great day.